Okay, let's talk about sense memory. It's a method approach. It comes from Stanislavski. Sense memory is the mis most misunderstood, mistaught, misused technique of any acting system, particularly the method. Sense memory is misunderstood by almost everybody who teaches it. It's been my experience. Like, for example, people will come to my class and I ask them if they've had any exposure to sense memory. I say, oh yeah, sure, I, I, I studied it at uh, Padang University with Abigail Schultz. <laughs> and I say, okay, would you uh, demonstrate a sense memory? And they would get up there and they would do something quite different than you would imagine what sense memory is, like a pantomime, a mime. And they have no, no concept that sense memory is a process by which you train your senses to be able to work with an object, memorizing that object sensorially, so that you can recreate that object when it isn't there. Now one would say, is that possible? Absolutely, I do it all the time. And I have been working on sense memory as an actor, as a training actor, an actor in training, probably for the last 60 years. When I started working with sense memory, I would work between two and three and four and five hours a day. I became very obsessed about it. I remember being the butt of many jokes. Uh, uh, Harry Dean Stanton, my, my personal nemesis, would say, oh, what are you doing, Harry? Can you go home and do some sense memory work, are you? And he would laugh, you know, but I would, every day I would get up every morning and do it, and I would do it in the afternoon. I would go to the, um, to have a cup of coffee and read the trade papers, and I'd have a pocket full of things to work on. I called them feelies, stones, uh, fabric, perfume, odiferous things. And I'd be there drinking my coffee at this outdoor restaurant, and I would be reading the trade paper, and I would be feeling a feely in my hand, putting the feely down and memorizing it so that the feely was there when it wasn't there. I got totally obsessed with it. A bus would go by, it was gone, and I would recreate the sound of that bus and, and the heat that it radiated and the, and, and the, the odor of, of the petrol or the gasoline or whatever they were using. And I would do it almost as, as, as a rote thing. So I became very facile with sense memory, which most people just shy away from. But when you ask an actor who is really doesn't, has no idea of what sense memory is, he'll say, well, Suppose I'm on stage and I'm drinking a cup of coffee, supposedly, but there's water in it, so I have to make it coffee. No. Oh, that's not sense memory. That's not the purpose for it. The purpose for sense memory is that you are in a scene and you are about to be obligated to feel something related to the other actor who is supposed to, supposed to affect you in a certain way as described in the material but the actor doesn't affect you that way, so you have to endow the actor with elements, physical properties, sounds, odors maybe, behaviorisms that you create sensorially on the actor, with the actor. It's called endowments, sensorial endowments. And when you create these things, these physical properties, the sound of the voice, the emotional content behind the eyes and all of that, it will affect you the way you want to be affected in the scene. That's the usage of sense memory in an actorial framework. Sense memory is a process. It's a very important process. It's an imaginative process. And one thing I must say to everybody watching this video, the senses have no mind of their own. They have no reason not to believe in what you're training them to believe. I reach out and I touch an object, okay, a coffee cup, and I train my senses to feel the texture, the temperature, the resilience, the, 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 the structure of the, of the cup in front of me, and then when I train each of my fingers, my thumb, my palm, to memorize that, 
I do that repeatedly, so when I put the cup down to the side, I, re can, I can recreate that object, an inanimate object, through sensory memory. And when you train your senses to do that, to smell things, to taste things, to hear things, sounds from all sources, to see things that are, not, are there and then are not there, your senses will cooperate and they will respond in reality because you've trained them to do that. Only the brain can short circuit your sensorial belief, your ability to believe that an object is there when it isn't. Only the brain can short circuit that. The senses have no, no reason to. They want to believe. They want to work that way. They work in tandem with each other every day of our life. So practice sense memory at least an hour a day. No acting please has in the third chapter is all on sense memory. It has a hundred questions that you can ask, put the book down, sit there with an object and do it. It will enhance your ability as an actor beyond my ability to describe it. Well, thank you for watching. Now, if you've enjoyed these videos, tell a friend. And for more information about videos, my books, my classes, go to my website, www.ericmorris.com. And until next time, this is Eric Morris saying, no acting, please.